Hello, today I will show you the new Memory Profiler package, a tool to help you optimize your memory usage. The Memory Profiler is available for Unity 2022 onwards. In this video, I will briefly cover what the Memory Profiler is and why it might be useful for your work. Then I will provide an overview of the UI and the main components of the Memory Profiler. Finally, I will give a brief introduction to how you can compare snapshots and review how your project's memory usage has changed across captures. The Memory Profiler allows you to take a snapshot of your application at a specific moment in time and review what is occupying memory in that moment. You can use it to review how much memory you are using, how it is distributed, and what are the biggest objects impacting your memory usage. Having a good understanding of how you are using your device memory and where you can optimize is extremely important to ensure that your game runs on target platforms, especially when targeting less capable ones such as low-end mobile devices, VR, or consoles. The Memory Profiler is composed of three sections. The Snapshot List, where you can see all the snapshots you have taken. The Main Area, where you will conduct most of your inspection work. The Selection Details panel, where you will be able to access detailed information about items you select in the main area. You can take a snapshot by pressing the Capture button in the toolbar. In the list, you can see basic information about your captures, including how much memory is used on the device, so you can compare your memory usage as you progress in your work. Single click on a snapshot will open it and expose a summary view and more in-depth details about it. The summary view provides a high-level information about how you're using your memory and how it is distributed. The first bar will show you how much memory is currently resident on the device. This is important information, as if you are using too much memory, your application might be at risk of crashing. The second section will show your total allocated memory and how it is distributed. Allocated memory is memory that has been requested to the system but is not necessarily residing on the device. This means that allocated memory might be higher than the maximum available on device without causing any problems. However, we recommend reviewing what are the biggest categories in this type of memory to make sure you can anticipate potential problems and keep your projects healthy in the long run. As you proceed down the summary view, you can find increasingly granular information about memory. The Manage Memory section gives you an overview of how Unity is allocated memory and may give you an indication of whether your memory is getting more or less fragmented. The top Unity objects gives you a high-level sense of where you might want to optimize. In this case, it looks like this is the biggest category in memory, so I might want to start looking into this. The Unity Objects view is the section where you will be able to see all Unity objects, such as textures, shaders or others. That are occupying memory. Here's where most of your work will likely be spent in looking for big objects that could be removed, reduced in size, or optimized in other ways. If you click on an object, in the side panel you will be able to see what objects are referencing it and what it's referencing to. This can be useful if you're wondering why an object is still in memory. You might find out that another object is referencing it and thus causing it to be loaded unnecessarily. In the details, you will be able to see other information about this object. When possible, the Memory Profiler will provide information about what type of object you're looking at and whether there could be some potential issues with it. If the object has a preview, you will also be able to see it in the details view together with its metadata so that you can have a better sense of what the object is and why it might be this big in memory. The All of Memory view provides another view at memory from a slightly different angle. In this view, you will be able to see all memory that Unity knows about, divided in its main categories, such as native memory, managed memory, and others. In here, you can, for example, go into details about what is impacting your memory, or look at other items that might be bloating your memory and that are not Unity objects. All the functionality that we have described so far allows you to inspect the single snapshots or to compare them. In order to compare, go to the snapshot list, compare mode, and select a second snapshot to compare. The summary view will be updated accordingly and you will be able to see the variations in memory between the two snapshots. In the Unity Objects and All of Memory view, you will see that the UI is slightly changed. In Comparison mode, 
you will have access to a table that allows you to see how many categories have changed, either in size or amount of objects contained. Upon clicking on a category, you will be able to inspect the individual items in snapshot A or B. For example, doing so, you might discover that an item has increased or decreased in size due to different import setting. To summarize, in this video, we have provided you with a brief introduction to the memory profiler, why it's useful and how it works. If you're interested in learning more about how memory profiling works in Unity, we recommend checking our blog posts and guides to profiling, which we will link in the description. Thanks for watching.